Hello there, everyone. Steve Chappell, Director of Trading Systems Development here at VectorVast, and I am privileged to continue our journey through the seven secrets to making money with VectorVast by taking a look at secrets six and seven. It's in this presentation you will discover that stock market success is largely dictated by ourselves and how much effort we put into being a successful investor using VectorVest. So secret number six is to stay informed. Keeping up with recent events is a critical piece towards being successful. Let's take a look at the four ways to achieve that success. The main theme is to keep up with new developments. And so here's the four ways to do that, and they are ranked in terms of priority. Priority number one is read VectorVest views. There is no better way to convey this wisdom than to take a brief journey through history. And my friends, I could do this for hours, but I'm going to hit some of the high watermarks to really set the tone. So we'll get over into the program. And our first stop will be to take a look at both VectorVest views and then look at that in terms of price behavior in the stock market centered around our guidance. And so what we'll do is go right up here to the top, click on the views tab, and the first stop in our little journey today is going to be way back here in 2007, and we'll bring it up through current as we go. So we're going to start in November of 2007 on November the 2nd. You can see a little red tile on the prior date there indicating a confirmed down is in play at this time in the stock market. And let's see what VectorVest guidance was to investors at this time. So we'll get right up here into the essay portion. And here we are with Contra ETFs. So we were one of the very first operations, at least that we're aware of, that was really preaching the benefit of Contra ETFs this early back in 2007 as they were really fairly new instruments at that time. But the most important part of this essay is down at the bottom here, so you must read them in entirety. It says, a word to new subscribers. Why are we talking about these Contra ETFs? Well, the confirmed down signal that we received yesterday could be the entree to a long bear market. We aren't there yet because earnings are still rising according to our method of analysis. Does that ring any bells centered around maybe today's time frame? Yeah. Yet we no longer appear to have the support of an accommodative Fed. Aha. And that can make things very bad for the stock market. So don't be deceived by the endless parade of experts who will appear on TV and other places telling you to buy stocks. This is not the time to buy stocks. Just follow our market timing system and it will tell us when to go long again. At that time, we should be getting some wonderful bargains. And so your first opportunity would be in about April of 2008, followed by an even better one. Let's get back to our market timing graph so we can illustrate the importance of this timely message. So if I come here to the top, go to the timing tab from their market timing graph, I'll take this back the full 10 years, and we'll still have to drag back a little further from there. But this essay was written, my friends, if I zoom in on a weekly chart, so I prefer to have the daily chart, but it was written this week where the market really began to tumble. It was the Friday before that following week, and boy, I did it. There was some brief opportunity here, as I mentioned, through April all the way up until June 6th, we began to ring the alarm bells again. I'm going to let you go investigate that for yourself. And then June 11th, we began to receive a lot more confirmation, which ultimately led us down to this stock market low, which will be the next stop in our journey for today in VectorVest Views, because this was the launching pad for the bull market that we still find ourselves in today. So what I'm going to do is go into VectorVest views here again. 
we'll go to March the 6th of 2009. And when we do that, we see in the essay, itching to rally. While stock prices have been going down since the market broke out of the wicked wedge on February 10th, I've been watching a little sideshow. There's some great information in here that could really set the stage for important times ahead. Okay, so I encourage you to read through the bulk of that. I'm going to skip right down here to the more most valuable nuggets, rather. Boy, look at the color guard at this time. Just gobs of red. The market is just getting crushed. And lo and behold, in the strategy section here, it says the price of the composite has now fallen eight of the last nine weeks. And at $14.68 per share, it's down $4.65 or 24% from its January 6th high of 1933. It's fallen below our bear market lows of 1542 from November 20th, 2008. We need to go, now go all the way back to 2003 to find our next support level. While looking at the all daily market timing graph, you can begin to notice some key divergences that we're picking up on though. And while prudent investors should not buy stocks at this time, aggressive investors and traders should play the market to the downside, but be alert for an explosive rebound. And so we're still along those contra ETFs we've been talking about, but we're going to look to exit those and go along with one of these bottom fishing strategies if that explosive rally occurs. And so we march it forward one day at a time here briefly. And we'll see that, boy, there's still a lot of red coming in the color guard. It says here, the takeover of shearing plow by Merck could not sustain the market's early rally today as concerned investors drove stock prices lower, causing the NASDAQ to close at its lowest level since October 2002. With two red lights and a down down and an extremely oversold market, prudent investors should not buy stocks at this time, but again, be alert for that explosive rebound. We are licking our chops, ready to go long, adding a little bit of color there. <laughs> but here again are the same strategies. We go forward to the next day and lo and behold, this is the day that little old Citigroup came out and announced that they turned a profit in the first quarter of 2009. And that sparked a major rally on Wall Street, driving stock prices sharply higher. So presuming that that rally continues tomorrow, Prudent investors may go bargain hunting and bottom fishing, and aggressive investors and traders should play the market to the upside. And so a quick journey back over ah, with one more tidbit beforehand. For those of you who are riding the wave, we went long today on March the 10th with jailbreak. So if we go back to the picture, we went long this day here, and that's when the stock market took off. So again, the weekly bar, I don't want that to throw anyone off, but just look what the market did from there. And so a quick journey then over into Unisearch and a quick stop to Search's bottom fishing. And then our favorite, Jailbreak. If we match up the dates, We would actually run these as of the evening of the 9th, okay, so that we bought them the morning of the 10th. And these are the stocks that we bought Century Aluminum, Citigroup, FAS, which is a three time leveraged financial, uh, Banner Corp, Las Vegas Sands, Lincoln National, and so on. And if we do a quick test of these top 10, I can tell you this much. By the time we got in that morning, these stocks as a basket of 10 were already up 18%. They finished the day that same day up 24. And if we take a look though at just some performance for a couple of weeks, just to see how life changing these events can be for you and therefore how one in the future can likely do the same as we potentially get closer and closer. We'll talk more about this in a minute to the next bear market that could lead you to this kind of situation again in the future. And so I stress that if we just take a look at how well this thing did say to the close of March, rerun the test, 
this basket of stocks was up 66% in less than a month. The Vectorvest Composite, which represents the overall stock market, is up 15. All right, so let's go forward another month. Now they're up 212%. So this kind of opportunity, my friends, will come again. And so what you need to do, what you're learning is you need to stay abreast of new developments by reading the views. You need to keep yourself out of harm's way when we tell you to run for the hills. And by the way, we received a confirmed down call yesterday. So you should be in defensive actions right now. And more on that in a bit. Probably should have been even defensive prior. Okay. Because once we eventually hit a market bottom, this is the kind of life-changing returns you can get. You say, well, I'm not buying these stocks that are one and two bucks. Okay, fine. Right? Let's take a look at what if we bought Best of the Biggies. Are we okay with Aflac, Devon Energy, Apache Corp, BlackBerry, General Dynamics, Union Pacific? Double market performance. 56% in just two months. So you tell me which way you'd like to travel. And you tell me if staying clued into the VectorVest views is going to be of vital importance to you now and in the future. Because I can just continue to run through day. Listen, I've traded VectorVest myself for the last 20 years. I'd love to show you about 57 dates, okay? But what I'm going to do is just hit some of the high points here again. So let's bring it a little bit more current. Let's go back to the vector vest views here. Let's go up into late or early rather 2020, not late 19, early 2020. We'll skip ahead to the good stuff. And we'll go and we'll start here in January and we'll start on the 17th. And we'll go take a look at the same strategy section. The price of the composite continued to move higher this week, hitting new all-time closing highs. We're hitting new all-time closing highs. All of our key indicators, the BSR, M RT, and MTI also moved higher when compared to their levels last week. However, the BSR closed lower today while the price of the VVC moved higher. The MTI is above its historically overbought level of 1.5, and three of our one-day derby winners are bearish. These are not good signs. With one green light and an up down up up situation, we're still bullish, but cautiously so. Let's see how that changes as we go forward to the 24th. After hitting record closing highs in all five sessions this week, the price of the VectorVest composite reversed course and began moving lower as fears surrounding the coronavirus caused investors to dump stocks. Overall, it lost 44 cents per share over the last five trading days and closed at 51.46 per share. The primary wave is down, and all of our key indicators lost ground this week. Although we will need to see the price of the VVC move lower for one more week to give us the preliminary signal of sustainable downtrend, with three yellow lights and a down up, VectorVest does not advocate buying any stocks at this time. And so if we put that guidance here, one more week, you've got the preliminary signal of sustainable downtrend and the cautious tone that we've had for the last two weeks and we go back to the charts here. So that first essay of caution was written right here on January the 17th. One week later, on January the 24th, we got even more defensive. And this is well prior to the eventual collapse. Let's see what we were saying on February the 21st, for example. The potential impact of the coronavirus on U.S. companies came into focus this week, and the price of the VectorVest composite closed lower overall. It lost $0.29 cents per share over the last five trading days to finish at $51.91 per share, and the primary wave is turned down. Our other key market timing indicators, BSR, RT, and MTI, also experienced losses over the last five trading days with the BSR below one now, 
We'll need to see the price of the VBC move lower one more five-day trading period to signal a confirmed down. For now, however, with three red lights and a down up, prudent investors should not buy stocks and aggressive folks should play the market with a bias to the downside. So do you think defensive actions are in order? We've been alerting for over a month that that is in fact the case. And now we're seeing real strong evidence. And of course, as you walk into Monday's trading, you certainly should have taken heed of all of that guidance. And so that brings us to current. And where are we now? We have a confirmed down signal and we can see the confirmed down signals have been saving our subscribers bacon as they always do. And so now is not the time to be asleep at the wheel. Now is time to be de vigilant and defensive. And when we look at a very good essay written just two weeks ago by Angela Akers, it really sets the tone for just how important this defensiveness really should be for you. So she wrote about the climate in VectorVest. And what she wrote about are earnings, inflation, and interest rates. And so inflation and interest rates, of course, are the enemy of corporate earnings or enemies. And so when will the true market, bear market scenario develop? Well, that will be when the Fed's practice of raising interest rates this time around finally affects com companies' corporate earnings to the point that earnings are falling and the ETI moves below one. That is when we will have a true bear market scenario. And so if we think that the worst is over, I've got news for you, friends. The bear market has yet to even truly hit. And so if we take a look then at the climate, and we take a look at the current situation, what we have here is the ETI is steadily approaching at about the same pace each week. Some weeks it's jumped a couple of points lower, but on most occasions it's been one point lower, which leads one down the path that we could enter into a bear market situation as classified by VectorVest within the next eight to nine weeks barring some kind of miraculous earnings season that I don't believe anybody would see coming, including the graphic that we have here, and most importantly so. And when we look at the 50-day moving average of EPS, that would lead one to believe, based upon the current angular development to the downside, that that, in fact, is likely at this stage on its way. And so... Now is the time, like never before, to stay informed using VectorVest. And I commend you for staying informed today. But please be vigilant over the days and weeks to come. And on that note, we want to be watching the daily color guard reports. We give our nightly guidance on what we see developing with all of these indicators that I've been going through each and every single night. We've seen the primary wave turn down. We've seen the DEW turn down. We've had a confirmed down call. All of these indications should have put you in defensive position, and all you've got to be doing is reading the views and watching the daily color guard reports. So where do I access them? Right here on your homepage. Couldn't be any easier. There's a strategy section. Sometimes it's below the fold, and you'll click right on here where it says market analysis and hot stocks and then watch the video and it will load up the most recent edition in this case december 15th and you just watch it and let the vector vest coaches walk you through your current strategic positions based upon what vector vest is telling us we will do the work and you will reap the profits or protect the profits in this case watch our special presentations Again, I commend you for watching this very one. Uh, and likely then you've watched all seven secrets by the time this video is done. But we've shown an awful lot of great content and always do every week of every month of every year 
on tactics that are consistent with the market behavior that we're observing. We've been doing a lot of options for both protection and for profit uh, as of late. And it's just a classic example of that. So do continue to watch the special presentations for insights on how to take advantage of the current market situations and attend our educational webcasts. In terms of educational webcasts, we've got so many these days I can't even keep track and keep count of them anymore. One of the best ways to do that for yourself is right up here at the top on the home page. There's a little wrench icon. And when you find that booger and click on it, you can click on this thing here. It says VectorVest Events. So you can get a table of this in the views on a Friday. But this way you'll have it handy all throughout the week. You can move this below the fold a little bit if you want to. Move it around to place it wherever you like. Uh, but it'll give you all of the upcoming events, even uh, live events uh, that will be taught on site. But webcast the same. If, if one of these catches your interest, like how to make money with the stock advisory, you can click on that. It'll take you out to a place where you can get informed uh, at that time for that event. It's a wonderful little utility to have on your homepage. And that brings us to what I think has always been the highlight of all of the seven secrets in that it hits home. And so at this stage, I'd like to share with each of you some wise words from our founder, Dr. Bart Delito, because no one does it better. No one ever will. But we all believe this message here at VectorVest to the core. And I quote, I seriously believe you must be an optimist to make money in the stock market. Optimists generally expect favorable outcomes. And why would anyone invest in stocks who wasn't expecting to make money? Optimism is a good thing, but there's a fine line between being an optimist and being a fool. Fools are Pollyannas. They believe all outcomes will be favorable, even though they didn't assess risk factors and the odds of adverse outcomes. They're tied to a feel-good mentality, whether they win or lose. A lot of investors are fools. We call them speculators. They just don't take the time to learn how to trade properly. They jump in with both feet and make snap decisions, enjoy taking long shots, buy risky stocks, and flirt with the risk of ruin. While they go on chasing the impossible dream, one dream after another, they can get lucky and make lots of money. In any event, they're typically more successful than pessimists. Pessimists are underperformers. They're like the dogs that don't hunt. They don't have the confidence to apply the abilities they were blessed with and won't put in the time or effort or really the work it takes to be successful. While they won't admit it, they are the losers. They always have an excuse for not doing what they said they were going to do. Well, I'm glad you're interested in VectorVest. It tells me that you're a true optimist. You have the self-esteem, the confidence to believe you can do it. You can make money in stocks, and you can devote the time and effort to become successful. An important part of becoming successful lies in learning how to gain from adversity. Don't let failure stand in your way. Determine what caused the failure to happen and make certain it never happens again. By eliminating these errors one by one, you will become better at what you are doing. When it comes to investing, We've all suffered losses, serious losses, at one time or another. Quitting isn't going to help in getting our money back. So just keep on getting better at eliminating errors. And please give our seven secrets a chance to help you along. And so folks, I'd like to personally thank all of you for listening to this presentation. At VectorVest, we firmly believe we have all the information, tools, training, and techniques you need to make money in stocks and generate income. Our mission is to provide the best stock market guidance available anywhere at any price. We sincerely 
want to be here for you guys every single step of the way. We know that our success is dependent on your success. And so let's stay informed, continue to be optimistic, and know that no matter what 2023 brings, VectorVest is going to guide you all along the way. And if we do in fact enter into a bear market, listen, VectorVest will take you by the hand and show you how to stay out of harm's way and even make money while the, while the bear market is in play. And when the bear market is done, boy, that's where the profits really come in. And so, my friends, you need VectorVest now more than ever. Stay informed, be an optimist, and I hope to see you soon. And so real quick, on the subject of making the most out of 2023, no better way to get that done than attend our all-new 2023 two-day investment seminar, January 6th and 7th, 2023, in Tampa, Florida. We've got a powerhouse of a team that is going to be teaching this event and everything from how to make money with the core successful investor attributes of VectorVest all the way up to and including supercharging returns with options. And you have a choice. The choice is quite simple. You can continue to try to do things alone or you can do it fast. There's no such thing as you can't. If you want to get it done, we're going to show you how. And so old Abraham Lincoln, great quote, said, if I had six hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first four hours sharpening the axe. I got good news for you. There's 250 trading days in a year or so, yeah? It's only going to take you two days to make the most out of 2023. And all you got to do is go to one of these links. If you're somebody that wants to attend in person and it will sell out, we're getting very close. $195 to come to Tampa. Take a wonderful vacation to boot. Write it off uh, as stock market education. And boy, I tell you, no better time to be in the Keys <laughs> this time of year in January. Or you can take it in free of charge, live via stream uh, at VectorVest.com slash stream. Once again, that is 100% free. There's a lot more detail in some of the webcasts that we're doing called the Sneak Peek. Uh, so please, if you're interested, need maybe a little nudge to put you over the edge, take up that webcast and we'll see you in Tampa. See you soon, everyone. Have a great week.